Hello everyone and welcome to a follow-up video to something Bison showed recently. Links will be in the description and this video is about mechanics that change from 1.12 to 1.13 and it's all about your world spawn spawning mechanics. So if you die for some reason and you do not have a spawn set with a bed you will go back to world spawn and those mechanics changed. So just to quickly recap how this used to work this command block will set my world spawn right here. This will just kill me. And in 1.12 we would have done this. And it would have checked a 21 by 21 area centered on your world spawn. And then it would have selected a random block and spawned you in the highest column of that. So in 1.12 no matter how often we killed ourselves with that command block we would have always spawned on top of this stone platform somewhere. But as you can tell, we are in 1.13.2 right now, and this has definitely changed, as Bison already showed. And he figured out quite a bunch of stuff, and I built up on it. So what did change? It's now depending on the biome you are in, and then it looks for specific blocks. If those blocks aren't available, it will always spawn you on top, right on top of the world spawn, no matter what's going on. So. In this setup here, no matter what we do, we will always spawn right centered on the world spawn. You can try it a few times, this will always do the same. So and here comes the thing Bison showed, for example in planes, it will always prioritize a grass block. So let's put a bunch of blocks here, do this, hit the respawn button, and as you can tell we are on top of the grass block. And if you have more than one grass block, then it will just choose a random one, I think. So even if you have ones that are higher up, it will not necessarily check for the highest column. It will just choose a random block. Oh, this time it was this here. Of course, if it selects this column here, then it will spawn you on top of it. But yeah. So let's get into the stuff that I figured out with the help of Equinox. Huge shout out to him, he will also be in the description for figuring the code out for me. Because I've did it for most of the biomes and I think I found all of the specific blocks. So let's just go through them. Ocean biome, still grass. So there is a bunch of biomes that have a special block, but most of them that don't will just default to grass. Plains, grass. Desert now is one of the special blocks. This is sand. Oh, wrong direction. Mountains, grass. Forest, grass. Tigers, grass. It's kind of sad. I would have expected this to be Potzel, but it definitely isn't. We can prove this. Whoops. Will always default to this. Swamp biome, grass as well. River biome, grass as well. Here we come to the first interesting one. So even though you could never set your world spawn in the nether, unless you have a hell biome in the overworld, this will still default to nether wreck. Same goes for the end, will default to end stone. And we've got more grassy things going on, frozen ocean grass, frozen river grass, snowy thundra grass, snowy mountains grass. And here we have another one, Mushroom Island Shore and Mushroom Fields, both default to Mycelium. Every time. We have the beach, the beach will also default to sand, like the desert. Jungle defaults to grass again. Then we have another special one, the Stone Beach or Stone Shore. Defaults to stone. The snowy beach, it's just a beach type, it also defaults to snow. So the biomes I didn't do is a bunch of subtypes and they all default to their main type anyway. Left a bunch of things out. 
but most of the biomes should be in here. And if I missed some, good opportunity to let me know. Dark forest also just grass. Savanna just grass. And we are, here we have the last special one. This is the Mesa, and this defaults to red sand. Not even normal sand, just red sand. Every time. Yeah, and that's about it. I think back there we have one more, and it's the Void Biome. Which pretty much defaults to the only block it has, and that is stone. Just like the stone beach. Let's try this. Yep, every time. And then we have one more interesting thing to show. So if you do not have your default block available, you know we will always spawn on top of the world spawn. So we can kind of influence the exact spawn location of a player in 1.13. And here comes a little interesting thingy. Let's quickly build this up. So let's say our block is blocked by a liquid, then this will not work to spawn you on top of the grass block. You will always spawn on top of world spawn. But let's reverse this real quick. So if the block that's defaulting to is not available, then it will always spawn you on top of world spawn, no matter if this is like a valid location or not. So you can totally spawn inside of a lava pool or have a nice little hole down to bedrock here, which will kill people. And this will always work super reliably. Also another interesting fact, let me go into survival mode. I think most people know this, but I'm still gonna show it. Look at this. Now it starts taking damage, so I think you're invincible for a second if you respawn. Definitely didn't take any damage there, which is nice. And yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you found it interesting. If there's more stuff we can do with this, I would love to know about it. I think it is really a sort of pointless change. All I could figure out that it does is pretty much ruin existing spawning locations. Because this behavior was used a bunch. People used to build areas where they spawn in and they relied on this. And now if you have, let's say, a grass block down here and your nice looking spawning room was up there and you blocked all the locations so you would always spawn inside of it, you would now spawn on top of this grass block. As an example, for example, on the Cycraft server, we have the spawn tower. And in the spawn tower at the very bottom floor is some nice looking dioramas. And we would now always spawn inside of the diorama, no matter what we do. Which I think is really... I'm not sure why this was done, and it's it's weird as well. But yeah, I think it's not really beneficial and should be considered to be changed back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and bye-bye.